Okay, Pisces. Okay, I'm not going to say it's been easy, but it. I will say it has been worth it. Okay, and it really depends on this month, this week, and maybe for this month. It really depends on what Pisces you are, because it's different thing. Well, this week, let's say this week, where where in Pisces season you were born, because it's not going to hit the same for all of you. So we're going to get into it. Okay. Pisces, this is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. It is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. Please do apply this however it resonates in your life. It is your reading. And you might want to check out your Moon sign reading and your Rising sign reading if this isn't it. I do 12 readings every single week. So um, hit me up. Give me a chance. You know, if this is your first time here, thank you. If you're returning, God bless you for supporting the channel. I appreciate you very much. Um, please remember, if you haven't, subscribe to the channel if you really like the content because I do upload 12 readings, one for each zodiac sign every single week, and uh, they come out on different days. The list of when they come out, the schedule of their debuts is down below. It's always same time. It's always same day. Um, wow. Okay. Okay. I'm looking at your cards. We're going to get into it. Uh, remember, I have a second YouTube channel called Astrology Motivation. Uh, where I, I do daily tarot card readings and da daily um, astrology summaries for just the day. So Monday through Friday, you can come on and actually talk to me live. And I would love, love for you to join the chat. Um, please remember to give this video a thumbs up. And I always do an extended reading. And that link is above toward the end. You just click on it, whether it's here or here, just click on it and go right to it. I also put it in the description box below and I'll pin it to the top of the comment section. Yes, I do do personal readings, but only, only scheduled through my website. You can go there. I don't have a lot of slots open every single week because it takes me a long time to do the personal readings, but I do have space open and you can just choose your space wherever that is. Um, so your ruling dignitary is Neptune, and then Neptune is in Pisces. It's in your first house, but it's toward the end of your first house now. It's at the end degrees. I think it's at 24 degrees, uh, 25 degrees. Um, Pisces, it's, it's toward the end. So basically for end Pisces, Pisces, that, Pisces whose birthday comes in late in the season. So that would be around, what is it? Like, um, no. Hold on, hold on. So like February 19th. No, 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 that's the beginning. That's the beginning of Pisces season. So like March 20th, March 21st, maybe even March 18th. Around there, your natal sun, we talked about this last week, is conjunct to Neptune. So there's a lot of dreaminess, but there's a lot of creativity. There's a lot of distractibility, but you have to trust it. I really do mean trust it because this is your time to expand and grow through allowing your imagination to guide you and it's just going to be such a creative and romantic time for you where yeah there will be a lot of crash and burn there will be a lot of um, things that will make you sad but these are the moments of your life when you make memories that you never forget and that definitely show you all that you're really capable of so it's actually a very beautiful time for you and it's actually could be a time to shine if you are creative and you're working real hard on creating yourself inventing yourself building who you are into the world this will be the time when people will recognize you see you and the Sun could really shine on you um, now Venus as of Friday, Saturday of this week, Venus enters into Pisces, and she loves being in Pisces. It's just a romantic place for her, gets along with her modality. She kind of gets lost there, really dreamy, really romantic. This week, it's gonna hit hard for those people born at the beginning of Pisces season, which are like the February 19th, 20th, 21st, 22nd. Venus is gonna be skimming your natal sun, conjunct your natal sun, Guys, this is romance, 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 intense. Just getting whisked away, dreaminess, even like lots of dreams of romance, which means you could be dreaming the romance and it's not half as good as you are dreaming it to be, but it's still gonna be one of those moments where you just kinda like your heart just goes a million different directions at once. It, you could get really swept off your feet right now. This could also be in some ways financial blessings, but Venus in Pisces usually doesn't focus on finance. She usually focuses on 
desire and passion and romance and attraction this could be a really good time for you to work on your attractiveness to change your look you know and and dream up or reinvent the a different way to present yourself and present your style you would be like top-notch creativity and it would would be beautiful it would be beautiful this is going to be it could even be beautifying your apartment just giving beauty using your creativity to beautify everything around you um so really different right really different between where you are in the month but for all of you jupiter is going to be trying the sun until tuesday and then it's unaspected so your luck will come at first by people seeing like be giving opportunities to expand and to grow um and maybe even really insisting on attention to you're going to be surprised where those growth opportunities come to you um and then um neptune is um going to be semi-square to the actual sun to where the sun is now so neptune and pisces there could be a little bit of a rub there could be a little bit of a stubbornness or um, frustration when it comes to what's really happening versus what you imagined it would happen how you imagined it would happen so the sun is going to so it's it's sort of distracting you right it's it's you're believing your fantasy so much that you're getting irritated by who's really getting the spotlight or where the attention really is or, or what the opportunities really are so it could be that you need to ground yourself and remind yourself that really nothing horrible is happening it's just it's your expectations versus reality so the expectations will have to change okay let's get into the cards that are sitting here in front of me Pisces and what are they we have the four of Pentacles and this guy has been coming out a lot today um, it means different things sometimes it means greed a lot of times it does mean fear Four means I want to stay still I, I need to feel the earth under my feet and be secure so this is it could be insecurity it just may need they need to ground slow things down and not share it's kind of like no I don't want to give my money away it's saying be cautious with your money and that you will be cautious with how you spend your money this week um, it's just a sense of cautiousness that you know trust yourself but page of Pentacles is this is a new opportunity so okay it's but it's almost like it's a new opportunity to spend money and it doesn't seem like it's a lot but it's going to feel like it's a lot more and maybe you just don't want to right now it seems like you're not really willing to put yourself out there at least financially right now which is fair you know your situation but ultimately there's a sense of stinginess here somebody could be you could be somebody else only willing to give a little because they're scared and they're worried and they're pinching their pinching their pennies and they might not want to discuss it with you okay but that's what it's for it's just a sense of somebody is spending really small and they don't want to splurge it is because um they're worried about finances and and maybe money hasn't been coming into them enough for them to be it's really just indulging or, or enjoying themselves but then we have the empress um, the Empress could be a mother figure, especially if your maternal figure is fire sign. But this could also be the expectation of, of I thought I'd be so much further along now, right? Um, you feel like a million bucks. You look like a million bucks. In terms of attraction, you are getting, attra you are attractive. Or just, just this feeling of maybe temptation right if you had been with a fire sign a feminine fire sign would be adult over the age of 30 um maybe they had all the money and now the money's pinched back you're having to penny pinch um maybe you want somebody's glamour you want to be glamorous maybe you want to invest in something but only have a little bit of money to spend it does seem to be a theme here but queen of wands is really glorious really attractive and then there's a lot of abundance so in some ways it could be your attractiveness that gets you money this week yeah you tell me leave the comments below I definitely want to know and then we have hermit energy it's almost like saying if I can't go out with the big big shebang if I can't like do everything I want to do I just want to be by myself and not be seen at all <laughs> and I don't 
don't know whether that's good or bad. I just know that it is. And Virgo is completely opposite energy from you. So it's almost like saying it's like I feel like I feel like I have to be completely opposite from what I want to be right now because maybe the funds are low or there's just a sense of work makes me feel good. Work makes me feel abundant. Um, any chance or opportunity to work, um, take it. Absolutely. Maybe you're dealing with a Virgo. Let's keep going. I gotta get a moon card. I always need a moon card. Chalk it up to my being a Cancerian. But I think it's important. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Hold up, hold up. Hold up. What do we got? We got right now, right after the new moon, as the moon is gaining momentum. Let me, let me just go closer. Have faith in your dreams. The moon is growing. Something is growing. Do, let me tell you this to you. I'm going to go back to these first two cards. Pisces, do all that you can this week. Push yourself just a little bit beyond your comfort zone. I think that you're going to be very happy that you made the investment. <gasps> Excuse me. You're going to be very happy that you made the investment. You want to know why? I'll tell you. Luck is on your side. There you go. This is Sagittarius energy. It's that Jupiterian energy. Jupiter saying it is time to expand. It is time to change. It is time to grow. It is definitely luck being available to you. So even though, even though maybe this hasn't worked out in the past, don't judge this week by the past because things have changed and things are different. Anytime that sun skirts over Pluto, there's a lot of changes and shifts that go on. So you're going to get really lucky and it could be through work, somebody discovering you at your job. Maybe you have a boring humdrum job, even like administrative assistant or a job that you've been doing for a while. But then somebody that is super spectacular and fucking famous and wonderful comes in and they notice you and you strike up a conversation i gotta say i'm gonna write this down it's like your dreams are coming true in the weirdest of places i'm writing that down because that's going to be the title <laughs> or maybe the weirdest way you're really not going to expect it coming from here it's like the place that you feel least yourself the place that you feel least able to express yourself and spread your wings and that you think that there's the least possibility of opportunities this is where the opportunities are coming in this is where all of a sudden boom somebody shows up at your at your shitty day job where nothing is moving or changing who walks in but somebody absolutely super spectacular and fabulous with a lot of money and a lot of notoriety and a lot of ability to actually notice you and bring you along so it's like luck is on your side have faith in your dreams you've had faith this long you didn't come this far to only come this far right okay tell me more for pisces how this is going down queen of cups so this is another person who absolutely loves and adores you or it's you it's a representation of just put your whole heart in don't even if you feel like a fool doesn't matter no no no. this is the time to really let yourself be seen for everything that you are and really give it your all and if you're already doing that well then guess what you're doing something fantastic ace of cups um five of swords so it's almost like somebody is defeating your love or some or or love is going to come in the most unlikely place upon defeat love comes defeat come but it, this is defeat coming on love defeat of love maybe from a breakup somebody that you broke up with an ex-spouse or an ex-lover there is a sense of the two of you might be getting back together or you might still be feeling like you have feelings for them or it could be that this opportunity is you know even if you're not together anymore they still think about you they still know you they still remember you and they're helping to bring somebody to you there was a loss here but it's, it's interesting how there's still love here even though there was defeat, even though there was a loss. Uh, maybe you let me know in the comments below. I'm gonna get into the details. I would love to know how this is playing out for you. What do you mean by this Five of Swords though? What, what the heck is that supposed to mean, God? 
What is that supposed to mean? What is this Five of Swords? Okay. Um, what did, I said, what is this Five of Swords? Oh, it's in a place where you already thought you were about to cut it off. So we have Ten of Swords. You finished it. It was done. But maybe you guys still share a house. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, but the, the world is here. So maybe it's just a, it was a, a phase that completed when it came to really having to let things be done. Like the pain is done and from the pain is coming prosperity and growth and love. It's almost like your ex is going to introduce you to somebody that like makes your heart explode. Or you're at a party with somebody that you used to be with or used to know. And it's, it's through them that this sort of abundance comes into your life in the strangest fucking ways. So even though you might be hesitant, oh, should I show up? Should I? Yeah, you should. Because there's somebody there that you're going to want to meet. It may not have anything to do with a new romance. It may be, but it may not. It could be your big breakthrough. It could be, hey, I want you to meet this uh, new boss. Or I want you to meet this agent. Or I want you to meet that whatever. Right? It's, it's, it's just a whole new stage in your life that's beginning. And it's sort of springing from what once was really infertile. Ten of Swords, it was completely done and over. Somebody had hurt you way too much. This could have been where you live or the person that you lived with. Communication coming in between the two of you again or from them. Um, this is a change. It could have also been something broke you up, but you did not love them. Looking at the cards is kind of what it's making me feel. Like, like even though it had to be finished, it really wasn't. Because there was still, like, gratitude there. There was still happiness there. There was still, there was, I don't know why this ended. Maybe just too many backstabs, too many... Too many times there was disappointment, but there is still a sense of positive, healthy communication. <clears throat> you could also, excuse me, you could also interpret this as what you thought was over and ended and done gets new life. Only the Scorpio card isn't here. So I just need to understand why are Pisces getting so lucky? We have Queen of Wands again. Who is this Queen of Wands in your life? Who is it? This, I mean, could be a, could, I don't know. This is a Leo Sagittarius Aries. That is just sort of like, I don't know. It, it, it's all revolving around them. I don't know who is this person. I don't know if this is a lover. It's a feminine, it's a feminine fire sign. It doesn't have to be a female. It could be. They would definitely be adult. Okay, okay. Trust this person because it's this person that is giving you the strength to, to take that leap of faith. It's this person and this is the least expected person, the last person that you would think would come back into your life and help you make this decision. But this is the, this is the person who is coming back in your life and, and, and like reminding you of how strong you are and saying, yes, it is time. Take this faith. Be strong enough. Remind you of your strength. Be strong enough. Or they are strong enough to finally take the leap of faith and do something that they needed to do, but it directly impacts you. The Fool card is here because it is absolutely time to believe. It is absolutely time to know. I think this person is reminding you of your strength. And reminding you that you didn't come this far to only get this far. And that you, even though the money might be scarce or you're scared of the bottom line, it doesn't, the bottom line is, doesn't make any difference. It's like they're pushing you toward the opportunity. They see it clearly. You don't. It's going to shock you that they're so helpful, but they're going to be. And this is going to change your existence. <laughs> Just that. Just that. Just that. Mmm. Who the hell is this? Oh, what did I, what card did I say? I said, what did I say? I said, oh, the Scorpio card hasn't come. It's here. Yeah, that means resurrection. That means, that, that, that doesn't mean renewal. It means starting over again. 
in different skin. It means it's transferring into something completely new and now all of a sudden, now we get along. Now all of a sudden, now we can get together or now there's a reason to celebrate because something that you thought was absolutely done and over is definitely back in this most surprising way or because of the most surprising person. Trust them, let them push you. Absolutely, here it is. Take this chance. Happiness, success, abundance, finding your tribe could even be marriage celebration. Let's get into let's get let's get into the details. I will see you guys in the extended. Link is below or above. <laughs>